Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm sitting in the motorbike trailer. Um, the project for this is going to be a fairly comprehensive overhaul. Uh, what we're going to do is, is uh, start by fixing the front cone shape of the trailer. We're going to revamp that, uh, which will entail some cutting and welding and joining and then some plating. Once that's done, this ramp gets some attention to a plan on making a spring load style hinge for the ramp to make it a bit easier. It is quite heavy, it's about 80 kilos. And then there'll be some other bits and pieces done. I'm gonna freshen up the floor, some wiring, some internal lights and that sort of thing. These tight out points will also be refreshed as well, just so that it's easy to sweep the trailer out when it's full of dirt and mud. As is at the moment, they catch and then the, uh, the debris doesn't come out. So. Let's get stuck into it, start stripping it. Hopefully uh, I can beat the rain, get some footage in today in this video. Um, this will be a multiple part video, um, just because there's a fair bit to do on this. So let's get stuck into it. off now as you can see I'll get you in a bit closer for a uh, bit of a look at the steel frame in a second but I'm just going to clean up all that old cladding put it in the back of the ute so that I can get rid of it tomorrow <laughs> been an impact along this steel here which will have to be pulled out um, what I want to do is effectively um, I'm going to cut these through here this side with the center and that side because I actually want this to be at the full height of the trailer so it won't dive down it'll be at the full height of the trailer it'll run across and then come down. So the cone shape will still be there essentially. It, instead of it coming down on this angle, the cone will be higher. Um, 
I just want a bit more headroom and headspace at the front of the trailer for potentially like a tool shelf or just some basic hanging area. So um, that's what we're going to do for the frame. Um, and it'll also make, I think, the exterior cladding look a lot, uh, a lot cleaner and a lot smoother if it's just just got one simple line along it. So that's that bit. Now let's look at the, the uh, rear tailgate. So as you can see, the rear tailgate, it is currently got um, three sections of aluminium checker plate on it. And look, that works well, that's fine. Um, but I just want a slightly better system for this. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna have um, either spring-loaded or um, some strut-style um, support for the ramp, which will probably entail a little bit of engineering the way it actually connects the ramp to allow the strut to have uh, full range of motion because um, if you don't know, struts require full range of motion for compression um, to get the most uh, effective push or pull out of them. So, um, and then, like I said at the start, gonna take out um, this rail here and there's another rail up the front over there um, and I will reclad the floor this gets a little bit slippery it's just a gal um, sheet not very thick I think it's like 0.4 or 0.5 thick um, just riveted to the frame so that can come out easily and then I'm gonna I think I'll sheet uh, the floor with checker plate and then I would like to put some sort of sweep or washout grill in the middle. I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet, but I just find that it'll be nice to be able to sweep everything out or even hose this out. Um, and then also check a plate, the wheel arches there, and then do a bit more of an interior line so that there's also some hanging um, area available. As well as the hanging, we're also going to do, um, there's two runs of lights on the ceiling. They'll be wired in. I'd like to potentially put a battery in this trailer so that there can just be a switch for on off for 12 volt lighting. Um, those LED strips are 12 volt lights, so it'd be nice just to be able to work in the trailer at night time, um, depending on what you're doing, and have some sort of lighting, because we all know how difficult it is when you don't have lighting. So that's the basic uh, rundown. Of